gold. I might breath play, say my mind. And if you don't die, kill. As you will see, and joy live feels Satan. Today's teaching is the fight. They defeat in the series Christ Forgiveness, How to Manifest, Immortality, Season 2. And the idea we're going to practice today, at least every waking hour, is I feel the love of God within me now. I feel the love of God within me now. There is a light in you the whole cannot perceive. And with each eyes, you will not see this light, for you are blinded by the gold. Yet, you have eyes to see it. It is there for you to look upon. It was not placed in you to be kept hidden from your sight. This light is a reflection of the thought we practice now. To feel the love of God within you is to see the gold anew, shining in innocence alive with hope and blessed with perfect charity and love. Who could feel fear in such a world? Who could feel fear in such a world as this? It welcomes you, rejoices that you came, and sings your praises as it keeps you safe from every form of danger and of pain. It offers you a warm and gentle home in which to stay a while. It blesses you throughout the day and watches through the night as a silent guardian of your holy sleep. It sees salvation in you and protects the light in you in which it sees its own. It offers you its flowers and its snow in thankfulness for your benevolence. This is the gold. This is the gold. The love of God reveals. It is so different from the gold you see through darkened eyes of malice and of fear that one belies the other. Only one can be perceived at all. The other one is wholly meaningless. A world in which forgiveness shines on everything and peace offers its gentle light to everyone is inconceivable to those who see a world of hatred rising from attack, poised to avenge, to murder and to destroy. Yet, is the world of hatred equally unseen and inconceivable, inconceivable to those who feel God's love in them? The world reflects the quietness and peace that shines in them, the gentleness and innocence they see surrounding them, the joy with which they look out from the endless wells of joy within. What they have felt in them, what they have felt in them, they look upon and see its true reflection everywhere. What would you see? The choice has given you. But learn and do not let your mind forget this law of seeing. You will look upon that which you feel within. If hatred finds a place within your heart, you will perceive a fearful wall held cruelly in death's sharp pointed bony fingers. If you feel the love of God within you, you will look out on a world of mercy and of love. Today we pass illusions as we seek to reach to what is true in us and feel its all embracing tenderness, its love which knows us as perfect as itself, its sight which is the gift its love bestows on us. We learn the way today. It is as sure as love itself to which it guides us. For its simplicity avoids the snails, the foolish convolutions of the world's apparent reasoning, but safe to hide. Simply do this. Be still 
and lay aside all thought of what you are and what God is. All concepts you have learned about the world, all images you hold about yourself, empty your mind of everything it thinks is either true or false, good or bad, of every thought it judges worthy, and all the ideas of which it is ashamed. Hold on to nothing. Do not bring with you one thought the past has taught, not, nor one belief you ever learned before from anything. Forget this world, forget this cause, and come with holy, empty hands unto your God. Is it not he who knows the way to you? You need not to know the way to him. Your part is simply to allow all the obstacles that you have interposed between the Son and God the Father to be quietly removed forever. God will do his part in joyful and immediate response. Ask and receive, but do not make demands, not, not point the road to God by which he should appear to you. The way to reach him is merely to let him be. For in that way is your reality proclaimed as well. And so today, we do not choose the way in which we go to him, but we do choose to let him come. And with this choice, we rest. And in our quiet hearts, and open minds, his love will blaze its pathway of itself. What has not been denied is truly there, if it be true and can be truly reached. God knows his son, and he knows the way to him. He does not need his son to show him how to find his way. Through every open door, through every opened door, his love shines outward from its home within and lightens up the world in innocence. Father, we do not know the way to you, but we have called and you have answered us. We will not interfere. Salvation's ways are not our own. All they belong to you. It is unto you we look for them. Our hands are open to receive your, your gifts. Our hands are open to receive your gifts. We have no thoughts we think apart from you and cherish no beliefs of what we are or who created us. Yours is the way that we would find and follow. And we ask, but that your will, which is our own as well, be done in us and in the world, and that it become a part of heaven now. Amen. Thank you, Son of God.